And now the intensifying battle against the coronavirus in Japan. 99 more people aboard a quarantine cruise ship have been infected. More than 300 Americans taken off the Diamond Princess cruise ship have arrived back on U.S. soil, including 14 who tested positive for the illness. CBS 4's Kathy Chen and Nancy Chen has the latest. A plane carrying about a dozen high-risk Americans who were evacuated from a quarantine cruise ship off Japan arrived in Nebraska Monday morning. They will be monitored at the University of Nebraska Medical Center for signs of the coronavirus. One patient was transported to the hospital, to the biocontainment unit, because of a chronic condition and um, also was experiencing some uh, mild symptoms. Remainder of the patients were transported to the quarantine unit. They've been on planes that touched down at U.S. military bases in Texas and California overnight. State Department officials say only after passengers were evacuated from the Diamond Princess in Japan did they learn 14 had tested positive for the illness. Hundreds of other American evacuees will be under a 14-day quarantine at the military bases. Meantime, officials in Hawaii say a Japanese tourist who was diagnosed after a trip to Oahu is now in critical condition in Japan. The World Health Organization says more than 71,000 cases of coronavirus have been diagnosed around the globe, but the latest data appears to show this virus is not as deadly as SARS in some other coronaviruses. More than 80% of patients have mild disease and will recover. Health officials are working to track down more than 2,000 passengers and crew members who were on board the Westerdam cruise ship in Cambodia. They were allowed to leave after being given the all clear, but then an American woman who had been a passenger tested positive for the virus. Nancy Chen, CBS News, New York.